Hello, my friends. What you're looking at is an Iroquois War Club. And this club originated around the late 1700s, early 1800s. And it's called an Otter War Club because of the figure that's at the head of the club. And it is the Otter. Taking a closer look at this club, we'll see how it was made. First of all, if you look at the grain, let's take a close look at this. If you look at the grain, you can see here, this is the heartwood of a tree. And the way the grain is following, this would have been the trunk of the tree, and this would have been a branch. And it's a piece of maple. This is a really hard piece of wood. And uh, the dimensions on this, let's take a close look. It looks like it is 25 inches long. The ball measures three inches in diameter. It's six inches in depth from the back to the bottom of the ball. The length of the otter is seven inches from tip of the head to the tail. And if you look closely at the handle end, it terminates in a deer hoof. The war club is, as I said, uh, Iroquois. Iroquois is the French name. The tribe name actually is Haudenosaunee, meaning people of the longhouse. And it consisted of five tribes in the early days into one confederation. And the Iroquois were, or Haudenosaunee were very warlike people. And this was their main weapon of war, a very formidable and effective device. Uh, one blow to the head would kill a person. All the energy when this is used is delivered by one point, point of tangency, where it would be touching the skull. Much more effective than the muskets or the bows. Um, when they would come into hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, it is extremely lethal. Haudenosaunee were very warlike. Uh, the individual tribes uh, fought with each other consistently. Um, they lived in fear until they formed their confederation, uh, which they called the Great Law of Peace. And that united the tribe, and then they became a very... Uh, formidable uh, element during the early days of this country. Well, thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.